Oh my god. The hell is this place? Hey, the PC here. Oh, I am not sleeping for the night. All these rooms are locked. Oh dear, I... Oh, oh, Mark, please ignore me. I'm just being myself. What? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just... What? Okay. That's fine. This place looks wild. Okay. What is this place? This is the League Administration Office. What? Huh? I thought the League's office was at Girin Laboratory. This is the HQ. Uh, the one in Girin is a branch of the Administration. Everything that happens in Girin goes through our database first. By the way, if you couldn't tell, uh, this office is secret. I see. Uh, since the lab is more public, you think it might be a potential target. So if anything were to happen to the office there, you'd have this place to fall back on. Precisely. You're very sharp. That machine reminds me of the ones you see in those Hall of Fame rooms. <laughs> You're right. Uh, it's the same device, except this one just logs info into our private database. Let's take a look and see what we got. Oh, it's Venom. Here we have Veronica Vassil from East Girin City. Oh, that's an old picture of me. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Uh, I thought I'd miss my purple hair. I mean, I kind of do, but... <laughs> you look great no matter what. If you want to go back, I won't stop you. <laughs> uh, you're the one who made me change in the first place. Uh, next, I see we have Rock-type leader Adam. Fairy-type leader Sienna. Who the heck is Sienna? Unfortunately, she accepted her position as quickly as she denied it. We weren't able to even get a picture of her. Dark type leader, Deegan Royer. Oh, man. Oh, that's right. Uh, do you happen to know him? Uh, it's kind of complicated. I'll explain later. Kenneth was my dad, and he was his brother. If you still have him posted as the main leader, I'd suggest removing him. He's gone. Oh, I see. Well, uh, in that case, I won't ask any further questions. I'll show one more leader. Let's see. Ah, we have Martin, the new normal leader. We just recruited him a few weeks back. So he also doesn't have a profile set up yet. Yeah, that was supposed to be Melia's position until all this happened. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Melia, you were supposed to have this role, yes? You went missing the day before we were going to brief you in on your duties. Had everything worked out... That would have been the first time the normal slot was filled with an actual full-time leader. Ever since the League's composition has been in shambles. Oh, uh, I might have information on that. I'll give you guys a full report on it soon. Understood. By the way, uh, we still have you in our database. Just in case you showed up again. So for now, I think I'll list you as a reserve. Me? A reserve? Do I still deserve such a title? I don't see why not. Just accept it. Jeez. <laughs> I see. I won't let you all down then. Wait a sec. You said if Melia accepted the position, that'd be the first time the normal type slot was filled full time. But that can't be true after all. Uh, Marionette? Yeah, that's where we got our normal badge from. Still kind of weird. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Mark fought the normal leader only just shortly after we thought Melia had died. But you just said you didn't have anyone until just recently. No reserve or anything. Marionette. We've never had someone like her on the roster, that's for sure. Uh, hey Mark, isn't that the same badge that transformed? Oh yeah, I remember that too. It's the only reason we were able to progress in the pyramid after all. Huh, uh, you mind if I see the badge mark? What a strange design. Uh, this isn't an official League badge, but... This thing has the chip we place in our badges. But how? Chip? Uh, we have a factory in Neverwinter that produces our badges. Inside each badge is a microchip that verifies the authenticity of the badge. Not only does it have the very same chip, 
but it's registered to the normal type leader. That entire place was shady and otherworldly anyway, so... I'm gonna have to ask you about the details later, but we can't possibly count this as valid, can we? What? What do you mean I gotta go back and get- I gotta go get another normal badge? If we can't count it as valid, then that's fine. If Mark wants to win an actual normal badge, we'll have someone in this room that can fulfill that, don't we? Oh, we- Or we have someone in this room that can fulfill that, don't we? Oh, I gotta fight Melia. She doesn't even have normal type Pokemon, what do you mean? She's got like a Zorua, a freaking Togekiss. Those aren't normal types. She has a Snorlax, but... Wait, 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 you mean me? I'm the reserve leader now, aren't I? Well, what do you say? Have Mark battle you for a legitimate badge. That way we can both personally access your skills uh, while also having an official league battle. Uh, it's been quite some time since our last battle. All right, let's do it. Excellent. We have a room just for occasions like this. Let's all head next door. Oh, boy. Uh, here, you can have this back. Mark, there's something I'd like to discuss with you at some point in the future. But for right now, I think it's best that we focus on your training. I'm at the... Do I still have the badge on? I still have the badge on me, but... I guess we're just gonna have a random battle with Melia now for an official badge. Oh, man. What's going on with you, Alice? Hmm. Uh, forgive me, Mark, but what were you guys talking about? Gym leaders not being in their positions and such. I see. Uh, this is an interesting thought. Thank you for explaining it to me, Mark. What the hell's going on with her? Alright, um, we're gonna have to fight Melia. I don't fully remember her team. I know she has a Zoroark. I know she has Togekiss. She has Hydreigon. She has Snorlax. I, off the top of my head, there's only four I can remember. I mean, we'll just go with this team for now. We'll make changes depending on, you know, we win or lose, I guess. Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't lose. <laughs> Let me just have everyone sitting out here in the crowd, dude. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't choke. Oh my god. All right. Well, this is going to be great. Both participants are here now. Are we ready? Uh, they're ready. Go, 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 Mark. You got this. Uh, you guys are going to do well. Just give it your all. Melia, don't give up. I know you can do this. Begin. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, my God. You're starting out with your Hydreigon. That is horrifying. I can't really do much to this thing. I'll just go for Flamethrower. It's faster than me. Oh, God. How fast is Ninetales? 252. Infernape is 260, but is that gonna be faster than Hydreigon? I mean, we can see. No, he's not faster. Oh my god, dude. I'm getting wiped right now. This thing's literally wiping my whole team. What the heck? It's faster than my entire- How fast is Hydreigon, dude? Holy heck, he outspeeds my entire team. That's crazy.
Oh, this battle's gonna be something, dude. This battle's gonna be something. Sure. Her, oh my god, her team is so fast. They just outspeed me by. Oh my god. Okay, I'll see you guys in the rematch. I was not expecting this. Oh my god.
Okay, we're back. And, uh, yeah, we won the battle. Honestly, not that difficult. It's a lot less difficult than I thought it was going to be. The only difficult part about that was the Aegis Slash. I felt like everything else I could handle, it was just the Aegis Slash that, uh, gave me a little bit of trouble. But we found a way to beat it. We just Will-O-Wisp it and then just hit it very, very hard with Fire Blitz from Embor, so... Yeah, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue on. I lost you again. You really are amazing, Mark. There is no doubt that you're strong. But there's something else. Something hidden deep within you. I can sense it. <laughs> um. <laughs> are you going to give Mark their badge or what? Oh, you're right, sorry. Uh, stay focused. Here you go. Thank you. For defeating me in battle, I would like to present to you the Fate Badge. Okay. The Fate Badge? <laughs> yeah, when I first met Mark, it was the day before I was supposed to become the actual normal type leader. I said to myself that I wanted Mark to be my first challenger. As you know, things didn't really go in that direction. However, Mark turned out to be my first challenger anyway. Wouldn't you call that fate? <laughs> Sounds more like a coincidence. <laughs> but the thought is nice. The fate badge it is then. <laughs> okay. I want... I want to be like that too. What? Like what? To be like what? I overheard your conversations earlier. I want to choose my own path, have my own purpose. Now that I'm free and have the ability to do so, I've decided. I don't want to wallow around and feel sorry for myself. You want to be a gym leader? Oh, I, just ha I, I just realized I had the audio muted. My bad. You want to be a gym leader like Melia? Can't Are there any positions open? Like, unless she wants to be a reserve. Um, I want to be a gym leader like Melia. You want to become a gym leader? Hey, don't leave me hanging. I want to be one too. <laughs> um, I don't think they're ready for that. <laughs> I don't think they're ready to be gym leaders, dude. Uh, this is also sudden. But I really don't have a reason to deny you such a request. What do you mean? They're not ready. That's your reason to deny them the request, dude. Have these two ever handled any other Pokemon, you know, maybe besides the unknown, ever in their lives? Probably not. The gym leaders are supposed to be the strongest trainers in the entire region. You can't just hand them out like they're nothing. Uh, right now we're down a fairy and dark gym leader. You, you're, you're not seriously just going to make them gym leader, are you? There's no way, dude. Damien could probably train one of you in the art of dark types. And as for fairy type, I think I can do something about that. <laughs> Finally, this is my time. This is my time. <laughs> Don't worry, Alan. I'll teach you everything you need to know about dark types. I might be good with dragon types, but dark types are my forte. Uh, that's very nice of you, sir, but I think Alice wants the dark type. What? <laughs> uh, yes, I'll be very happy if you would teach me in your ways, Davian. I used a Sableye at the pyramid, and I felt a close connection with its power. Unfortunately, that Sableye was a fabrication. Uh, would you happen to know where, where to find one? But a real one. Uh, fake ones have the tendency to disappear once I wake up. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I know where Sableye are. Then it's settled. Uh, we'll be the best gym leaders you ever had, and you can hold me to that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of dumb. They're literally just handing these two nobodies who aren't even actual trainers yet, never really handled any real Pokemon before, and they're just gonna make them gym leaders. That's it. Why? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, Alexandra, uh, when does our training start? When everyone's ready. First, you should all check out the barracks? The barracks and the lounge. 
After all, this is where you'll be staying for the next month or so. Uh, goodness, for the next month? I should call Reyna and tell her we'll be gone for a bit longer. Hmm, a month. That clashes with the tournament, doesn't it? I wouldn't worry about that. Even if there are some penalty for absence, they won't come after you out here. And if they did, I'd kill them. Okay, Damien, Jesus. Nice. <laughs> you will not kill them. Uh, settle down there. Why do you always have to go and ruin my fantasies? What? <laughs> Why is that a fantasy? It's just a joke anyway. Well then, I suppose that'll be it for today. We have a long day tomorrow, so get your relaxation out of the way now. Mark, whenever you're ready, uh, please come speak to me. Um, okay, well, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a little break from here. Uh, and yeah, I guess we'll continue on next time. Oh, man. That was a good battle. Okay, not the hardest thing ever again. The Aegis Slash was really the only thing that made that battle any difficult. The, bad, the badge hasn't changed, right? I think this is the same looking badge that we've had before. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember what we were doing. Uh, hello, my friend. Are you ready to begin training? Uh, no? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 we were, we were staying here to train. Um, people have been avoiding me recently, but it's all fine. My only purpose is to serve Alexandra. Good for you. Learning about this golden power I've held deep within me actually hasn't surprised me much, but something Alexandra said bothered me. She said that there are only two possibilities in regard to our birth. Either I was conceived by a woman or I was wished for out of thin air. That means I don't have a father. Can that really be true? I just don't really know how to feel about it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, no, you know what? You're right. Jenner was my father. Uh, it doesn't matter if the ties aren't biological. He was there for me. Thank you so much, Mark. I feel so much better now. Well, good for you. All right. Uh, isn't this my room? What are you doing in here? Hmm. Okay. These machines don't even work. What are you doing here? <laughs> Literally don't even work yet. Is there anybody else around? Um, nobody in here. All right, uh, I think that might be everybody. All right, I guess we're going to train. Hold on, is there anybody up here? Anybody up here? No. Okay. All right, let's go training. What is that gonna? What does that mean? I don't exactly know, but I guess we'll get to it. Then let's begin. Okay. My name is Aaron. I don't have a last name. I don't have a family either, or at least that used to be the case. What is this, her diary? Today is November 1st. Per the recommendation of Alita and Melia, I've become the group's tactician. I'm honored to receive this position. I won't take it lightly. As a way to review my work, I've decided to record our progress. We're all strong in our own right, but we lack true synergy and discipline. That's why Damien confided with me. Uh, anyway, regardless, I won't let everyone down. What? Day 3, Alita's Departure. After the events at Ecclesia, uh, Alita never did get the chance to bathe in the pyramid's water. An important part of Alita's growth lies within unlocking the final node of her true self. So it was on this day that I decided to send Alita off on her own, as she originally intended. We estimated her journey what her journey taking a little bit over a week. Okay. My training on the 8th. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, today was the day that Damien and I would assess Mark's capabilities and further them. I don't know what Damien meant by this, but in hindsight it was obvious. Mark was expected to be in the training room first thing. Oh, was I? <laughs> Should I change my team? I think I have the same team I fought Melia with. 
Um, let's see here. Yeah, I do. Do I want to change this around? I probably want to put you in the front. Nobody has any items because they all had citrus berries during that battle. Um, I don't think I need both of these. Let's box Embor for now. And I kind of want to use Darmanitan. Um, I think that's... I'll probably box Turtonator too. And... Um, who do I want to bring? Did I bring Oricorio? It does have an Oricorio crest, which I think makes him actually kind of good. <laughs> uh, it boosts his special attack and his speed by 20 25%, I think. So I guess we can, you know, let it have that. Should probably also give everybody else some different items. Okay. My team looks pretty ready. So, uh... Let's go do our trading, I guess. Um, she saw right through me and knew I was on the wrong path. <laughs> you need some work. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think if Narcissa and I spoke over some tea, everything would work out. When I was younger, I used to visit her all the time and help her with small things like brewing tea. When we got a moment to rest, I should brew us both a cup. Um, okay. Hmm. Anybody else want to talk? No? Okay. Let's, uh, let's go do some training then. Am I going to have to fight Damien? It better be for a badge if I'm fighting him. <laughs> better be getting that badge, yes. Ah, Mark, you made it just on time. Are you excited to train? No. I'm pumped. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm pumped. Glad to hear it. Your enthusiasm will benefit your progress greatly. Uh, as, will, uh, as well as mine, of course. I'm not going to stand here and pretend I don't need work as well. We all need work. That's why we're here. Right. So, we're all aware of your power, yada yada. <laughs> Uh, you've heard this all before, but what if we brought your power up a notch? Today, we're going to introduce Mega Evolution to you. Dude, I already know about Mega Evolution. I just don't have a ring. Uh, surprised? Alexandra had all this settled for you yesterday. It wasn't easy obtaining these rings. Oh, wait, they're really giving me a ring? Oh, sheesh. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, but they're here. I'm sure you've already, you're already familiar with Mega Evolution, so I'll save you the details. Oops, uh, I'm not late, right? No, in fact, you're just in time. To keep things short, we're going to have you both try Mega Evolution. Oh, sick. Venom, have you ever messed around with Mega Evolution? Nah, but I remember this gym leader from Kalos using it on live television for some tournament. But other than that, I don't know anything. Uh, you'll learn right now. Both of you get prepared. Right. I'm good to go. Oh, God. Not so fast. You won't be using your teams for this. What? We've constructed a practice set for both of you to use. Understood? Oh, God. Oh, uh, I knew that. Okay. But I like my team. Do I have any Pokemon that can actually Mega Evolve on my team? Actually, I don't think so. Actually, Charizard. I guess we, yeah, we do have Charizard, I guess. We do have Charizard. I don't think any of these other Pokemon Mega Evolve, right, besides Charizard? Yeah, I don't think so. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I think it's just Charizard. Okay. So if we're ever going to use a Mega, it's going to be a Mega Charizard, I guess. Probably has to be Y, too. If we're using Mono Fire, it has to be Y, right? Because X turn doesn't... isn't Is X still Fire Dragon, or is it Flying Dragon? I actually don't know. Hmm. Oh well, uh, I'm ready. We'll just see how well you're able to handle Mega Evolution whenever you're ready. Uh, do you want me to stand on the on the thing? Okay, I guess I'm standing on the thing then. Here, these are yours to borrow. And you'll use these. Thanks. Not only will I use this battle as a way to grasp your battle style, 
but as a way to see if you're capable of handling megas. Either way, winning doesn't matter. It's all about your progress. No, I'm gonna win. I have to win. I'm the best here. I have to win. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Mark, don't hold back. I'm gonna win this one. Alright. Oh, it's a double, too? Oh, jeez, okay. Let's see what we got here. You have... Oh, boy. That Doug Trio is gonna be a pain. It's, uh, I'm guessing this is Mega Manectric? Oh, wait, they're all Megas, aren't they? No, they're not. Never mind. <laughs> no, they're not. Okay, so we have Mega Manectric. So I probably want to switch out here because they have Doug Trio. We could try flamethrowering. Flamethrowering it. Hmm. Waterfall, high horsepower, rock slide, yawn, blizzard, surf, icy wind, protect. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to swap Manectric here because I'm pretty sure at least the Doug Trio is going to go for me. I'm going to swap in Wall Rain and we're going to try to take out this Houndoom real quick. Yeah, I figured that would be your Mega. <laughs> Oh, they both went... Oh, they used Heat Wave. They got me burned first turn, too. Okay, Houndoom down. Nice. Wall Ring being burned shouldn't matter too much because I think he's a special attacker. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go for Protect and use Waterfall on the Doug Trio. Ha. Get destroyed. Oh, it had a focus sash. Dang it, dude. Okay, that's fine. Um, does Blizzard hit my Pokemon too? Hmm. I don't know if it hits mine as well. Let's go for high horsepower. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's not fine anymore. What? Sucker punched me. That's fine. We win. Easy. Easy. Trash. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, damn, I'm not used to these mons, but neither are you, so you did well. I think my mons were a lot better than her mons, actually. <laughs> Out of freaking Swampert and Mega Manectrify, my team was stacked, dude. Ah, I mean, I've lost so many times to you that there's really not much to say. GG, I guess. Uh, you both still did well, especially with teams you're not familiar with. Agreed. It was a fine display. I'll be taking those, along with the Mega Ring. You mean I don't get to keep the ring? What? Don't worry, <laughs> you'll get it back. Probably I better, or I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that was enough. Uh, give me a feel. Uh, that was enough to give me a feel for both styles of combat. What? Mark holds a style I still can't really put a word on. <laughs> Eccentric? Uh, it's effective at least. Venom is strong, but I think she's lacking something. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of been off lately. Uh, not really into it. This isn't some kind of cool hangout session, Venom. Uh, do you think this is some kind of joke? I never said it was a joke. All I said was that I've been feeling off. No need to blow up in my face over something like that. I'm out of here. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Uh, thanks for the battle. We can chill out later or something. Uh, can you chill? Control your temper. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> nice job today, Mark. We'll resume this session soon. Great. Day 10. Somewhere off the coast of Terajuma Island... Terra Juma, oh my god, it's... I guess they want their ship back. <laughs> is that the one we were on? Uh, is everything ready to go? We're doing some pressure checks, but we should be ready shortly. You're awfully quiet. Uh, lost for words, perhaps? I order you to speak. What do you want from me? To say anything. Are you seasick or something? No, I'm just... Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, please. Save me that drivel. You told me to speak, so I did. What are you even hoping to accomplish with this? I don't know if you're forgetful or just stupid. 
You heard at the meeting where I presented this way back when. You should know exactly what this will accomplish. I didn't forget. All those people will be. Since when did you begin to have any semblance of empathy for others? Maddie, dear, weren't you the one who was willing to sacrifice an entire village? Uh, you've lost all right to call me Maddie. It's clear to me that you've grown into nothing but an evil, selfish witch. Do as you please. Actually, I changed my mind. I want you to stay quiet and just watch. Are we finally ready? Yes, ma'am. We're ready to submerge Unit 1 or zero 01. Then do it. This won't end with your survival, Cassandra. This will just end with the complete destruction of everyone we know and love. But I don't think you realize that. And if you do, then all hope is lost for you. The hell are they doing? <laughs> Alita's return, okay. 